So if you are trying for pregnancy, okay, so if you're planning one in the future, this video is for you. So most of the couples today who are trying for pregnancy are really stressed, okay? So today we are going to see about stress before conceiving. People are more anxious towards this pregnancy these days, okay? They have the usual fear, uh, what if, if something goes wrong, okay? Probably a miscarriage or else too much of vomiting, too much of uh, like physical tiredness, fatigue, okay? They see many things in Instagram, social media, several places. So they have a kind of fear towards getting pregnant itself, okay? And they have more kind of self-doubt that whether they can handle this pregnancy or not. The most important thing is, okay, the reason for having this fear these days in a, for a larger population is a lack of awareness, okay? They uh, hear so many things from their friend circle. They see so many things in their Instagram profile and all. And they take, uh, they only take this half knowledge, okay? It's not the actual knowledge. Uh, it is not the evidence-based information. Only when they come to know about what really happens in your pregnancy, okay? They'll have a clear vision. And most probably, if they get this clear awareness, of course, this anxiety will go down. And the most important thing is addressing their prior uh, trauma experiences, some traumatic experiences. If the woman have faced a uh, miscarriage before, of course, she'll have more fear towards this next pregnancy. I want to get pregnant. But when they get pregnant, okay, what really happens is each and every day, they have so much of anxiety. Okay, so whether uh, th this will also uh, be ending in this traumatic experiences like miscarriage or something like this. Okay, so the most important thing is if you try to work out on several lifestyle changes, of course, the chances of having miscarriage will be low, especially miscarriages. When it comes to miscarriage, the society is just seeing the women alone. Okay, so they blame the women. They give several judgmental things, okay? That is why women are having more anxiety towards this pregnancy. If you see men, men will be like really calm, okay? They don't, uh, many of the men will be like, it's not my duty, it's a woman thing, okay? When it comes to preconception, it is totally 50-50, 50% from egg, 50% uh, percent from uh, sperm. So, man should also improve his lifestyle, especially if he's into smoking, uh, alcohol, drugs, he should definitely stop it. If he is like more addictive towards all these things, he should seek a professional help, okay, and he should gradually try to stop it because paternal smoking will make that unborn child, okay, uh, the unborn child will be like four times higher risk for this cancer, four times it will be like higher risk for the cancer. So no father will be uh, wanting to gift their child uh, with this cancer, like more risk to this cancer. So if they come to know about all these things, they will definitely work. So lack of uh, proper awareness is a major thing for uh, more fear towards this pregnancy. Because we uh, speak in, uh, in our girls, can like, it happened like this, it happened like this, okay? It is just a, like one day story or like a 10 minute story. So other person will have, oh my God, this is like really hectic. But you know what? Every mammal is giving birth, okay? You can see all other mammals. They are like quite calm, okay? When we, only we carry more stress, okay? So we carry more amount of negative thoughts, self-doubts, so many things. Our bodies are designed for birthing. So trust your body. That's the most important thing. First of all, if you're planning for pregnancy, the decision should come from the couple. It should not come from the man. It should not come from the woman. It should come as a couple thing. Okay. So only when you both are ready, of course, uh, that pregnancy journey will be like really good. The parenting will be like really good. It should not come as a result of a societal pressure, family pressure, because immediately after getting married, what the parents say is, uh, will soon you have to give us a, a grandchild okay so from there the pressure starts so whenever they visit a family function or something like this okay so of course many will be asking like uh, is there any good news is there any good news okay the couple will not have any idea at that moment of getting pregnant or not but when continuously they uh, ask this uh, questions of course at one point of time they'll be like okay, we have to get pregnant, at least for the society's sake or else for the family's sake, because it's like I couldn't able to manage this pressure. Many women took, will take this decision out of this pressure, okay? 
So first they have to give a quick analyze, okay, like whether they are mentally ready, physically ready, okay, and emotionally and then financially. Because these days, like if you, you if you want to like give birth in a hospital, it will roughly all the medical expenses will take like one lakh. Okay, and differs from one hospital to the other hospital also. It differs from the complication also. Okay, so if they are like ready for all these things, they can go ahead with the pregnancy thing. Okay, so most probably the fear they carry will be uh, this is because of the societal pressure and the family pressure. If they sit in a calm place, communicate with each other about the pros and cons, whether we are ready or not. Okay, of course they get a clear picture. And several couple are lacking proper communication. They talk about all the rubbish things, okay? They complain about their sister-in-law, mother-in-law, everything, okay? They, the men will be complaining about all those things. But the thing is, the proper communication between the couple, okay? So we are into this space, okay? What's next, okay? How we have to work on it. Even when it comes to intimacy, they have to talk openly. Uh, talking uh, like communication before, during and after sex is really important. Uh, many couples are not doing it and so they are ending up with several other issues. Stress is the one that keeps that is keeping you away from this conception. So if you are trying for a pregnancy and if you are like really stressed about getting pregnant, if you are really stressed about seeing the uh, waiting for the second line in your home pregnancy test kit, I'm like really, uh, I'm very sure that you have to work on this stress. Okay. I can say this very simply, very easily, but it is really hard for you. I can really understand. Okay. Because conceiving a child is uh, what to say. It, it is a dream for several couple out there. So when the dream gets delayed, of course, with the societal pressure, family pressure, many are falling into the stress. So they take this ovulation day as a kind of exam day and they feel like, okay, I have to pass in this exam for sure. Okay, even while trying for baby, like while making love, that is while having sex, they pray for uh, like uh, this time I have to make baby for sure. Okay, they will not concentrate in the, that particular process. They'll be more of result oriented. Okay, so the simple thing is if you are concentrating more on getting symptom, 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 of course, you'll not perform well in your exam. While writing the exam, you have to concentrate only on the exam, only on the questions, only on the process, okay? So if you're thinking about the symptom, 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 of course, you'll forget all of your answers, okay? You'll not think properly and you'll not perform well in your exam. Same applies to this, okay? So if you're more concentrating on the result, baby, 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 okay, of course, it will get delayed, okay? Concentrate on lovemaking, okay? Don't take the sex as baby making process. Keep it as love making process itself, okay? So if you're concentrating more on the process, of course, the result will be good. And it's not only about the sex thing, okay? It is about several other factors, like how calm you are, how... Because our body will take this particular signal. When you're stressed, your hormones, like cortisol, will be like really high. Okay, cortisol is a stress hormone. So your body will be thinking like, oh my God, this is not the right time for the baby to come. Okay, there is some amount of like a, a bad situation or a kind of a bad atmosphere out there. She's having a difficult time. So let's delay this pregnancy. Okay, when your body is having more amount of cortisol, there is amount of danger out there. Okay, your brain will be thinking like this, but you will be stressed on getting pregnant itself. Okay. So with this amount of cortisol, your brain will take its own decision. It will delay the pregnancy. Even if there is a very good egg, very good, very good sperm, of course, your pregnancy might get delayed because of the stress hormone cortisol. Okay. So when you're like totally relaxed, of course, your baby, uh, this will be the right time for the baby to come. Your brain will assume it in this way and it will help in consumption. Okay. And on the other hand, stress will affect your ovulation, okay? Even if you would have seen uh, in our classmates itself, like when they have a, a maths exam, of course, their period might get delayed or might come earlier itself, okay? So when we are really stressed, of course, it is affecting our ovulation. So there will be a delayed ovulation. There will be an alter in hormones. It also affects your hormonal balance, okay? So in these ways, stress affects uh, couple in conceiving so if you are a couple who are trying for pregnancy please do address the stress factor first because i see like 40 to 50 couples every month okay so the most common thing that keeps them away from conception is stress it's very common like 
uh, three and five will face this. Okay, so try to concentrate on some other like recreational activities. This is called recreational intimacy. When you both, the couple, okay, you are uh, playing together, okay, you are playing a couple board game or else you are into shuttle, okay, some other sport, you are going uh, for Zumba classes together, okay, uh, concentrate on some other activities, especially try to do it as a couple. So this will be also a bonding activity and then you'll be away from stress. So this is a crucial process. So when you have a good companion, the journey will be like quite easy. Okay, even in our school days, uh, when we get this punishment, like get out of the class. Okay, so if we are like standing alone in the uh, veranda, of course, we'll be feeling lonely. We'll be feeling like a little bit of shame and all. Then our friend also accompanies us will be like really good one. It will not be like a punishment. It will be like an enjoyment. So a good companion is really important. Even a good companion can make a um, hard face into a like, really easy face. So be a good companion for your partner.